my mom's flowing with us today. <laughs> um, all right, before we get started, anybody have any requests? Anything you want to work on? Any poses? Anything that's just been a question that you want answered in your yoga practice? No, no. Feel free to drop it in the chat or shout it out if you have something out there at home. Nine times out of 10, people say shoulders and hips because we're all tight in our shoulders and our hips and we all carry around our stress in our shoulders and our hips. So we'll work those things, we always do. Let's start in a comfortable seat, whatever that means for you. Spine is tall, shoulders down your back, crown of the head is high. We'll just take a few moments, a few breaths to settle in and breathe. See if you can match the inhale to the exhale, meaning the same amount of time, same amount of air in and out. And in matching those inhales and exhales, you start to signal to your nervous system that everything is okay. It's a nice, even, balanced breath. It allows you to fully arrive into your practice on your mat. And it might help to make that mental shift as well, leaving all the other things off the mat just giving yourself permission to be here in this moment, in this practice for 45 minutes. So let's take three more of these even inhales and exhales. And then as you're ready, your eyes can blink open. Arms will stretch up to the ceiling. Spark your fingertips wide awake, straight strong arms, shrug your shoulders up and then drop them down. Good, and try to keep the arms straight. Often we think they're straight, but then you look at them and actually the elbows are bent. So really, really straight elbows. And then draw the palms a little bit closer together till you start to feel some tension. And then slide the shoulders down the back. Good, inhale, sit up a bit taller. And then right hand to the ground, left hand up and over. Staying here for a breath, look up as you inhale, soften as you exhale. Inhale, rise up tall, straight arms, and then exhale the other way. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, rise tall. Exhale with a twist, one hand back, one hand forward, staying for a breath. Inhale back through center, reach up and exhale, twist the other way. Breathe it in and out. Inhale center, reach up tall, straight arms, circle them back behind you, fingers to the ground, lean back. Open up that chest and throat. Rise back up, reaching tall. And then forward fold. And that can be little, just dropping chin to chest or round yourself all the way down. We'll stay here for three full breaths. And for my folks in the room, I like to walk around and offer some hands-on assists and adjustments. If you prefer not to be touched, obviously understand that in this context, uh, just wave a hand at me, let me know, and I will give you that space. Okay, we'll all come on back up to a tall spine and then make your way over to all fours. We'll do some cat cows to keep warming up. Inhale, look forward and up. Exhale, rounding, tucking chin to chest. Inhale, let the belly drop. Exhale, arch the back, dome it up. Take about three more of these back and forth following your breath in and out. Let it be a little wiggly if you like, 
or linger in a spot that feels like it needs a, a little extra attention. Perfect. And then from neutral, a nice flat, strong spine, tuck your toes, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Three breaths or so just to kind of feel that shape for the first time in your practice today, maybe pedaling around a bit. Very nice. And then walk your hands all the way back to your feet. So you're folding in half toward the back of the mat. Feet are hips width apart or maybe even wider for a little more stability. Let your head drop heavy. Bend your knees until your chest actually lays down onto your thighs. Let the weight kind of rock forward into the ball of each foot. And then give a little wiggle. Shake your head, your hips. Loosen up the jaw. All the little muscles of the neck and the face. Good. Interlace your hands behind your back and then straighten the arms and let them come up and over. So you're wringing out the shoulders and the chest. You might kind of tuck your chin to your chest even a little more if that feels nice to find a little more stretch. Nice. One more breath here in and out. And then release your hands down, walk them up to the top of the mat, downward facing dog once again. Give that a good breath. On an inhale, rock forward to a high plank, like the top of a push up, and then exhale, slide right back to downward facing dog. Inhale again, come forward to that high plank, strong through your core. Exhale, slide back down dog. One more time, inhale and slide back, exhale. Good, looking forward, tiptoe to the top of your mat, forward fold, feet hips width apart again. This time halfway lift, flat back. Holding right there, make sure your back is as flat as you can possibly get it. That means reaching your heart forward. Good, looking out past the front edge of your mat. And the legs are working towards straight. So we really feel this as a hips and hamstring stretch. Nice, one more breath here. And then exhale, full, forward fold, soften everything. On an inhale, round up to standing. Reach the arms out and up, look up. And then exhale, hands to heart. Nice, big breath in and a big breath out. All right, inhale, reach the hands up. Right hand takes left wrist. Pull it up and over into a nice side body stretch. Good, inhale through center. Switch that grip, take the stretch to the other side. Inhale, rise up through center. Little mini back bend, elbows wide, heart high, look up. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, forward fold right down the center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands plant down, right foot steps all the way back and lower your knee to the ground. Good, you're welcome to toss in some extra padding under that back knee if you like, and then rise up. Let your hips fall forward, but lift your heart, make your spine a little bit longer. And then check with those elbows, are they actually straight? <laughs> Good, inhale, reach up a little higher. Exhale, bring your hands down, draw your hips back. So we come into a half split. If the ground is feeling a little far away, you can rest your hands on blocks or something. I'm happy to deliver them throughout the room if you want them. You want some blocks? Good, holding this half split a couple of breaths. So the back of that left leg is getting nice and long. You can press your hands there if that feels nicer. All right, and then re-bend your front leg, but this time bring both hands on the inside. So we come into a lizard lunge. Hips drop forward, look forward, really kind of stretch your chest forward so that your hips fall, exactly. Breathing here. All right, we're gonna press into the hands, tuck the back toes, lift up that back knee, step it back to a high plank, 
and then hips high, downward facing dog. Big breaths in and out, right here in down dog. One more time, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, step or walk your feet to your hands at the top of the mat. Halfway lift and forward fold. Rise all the way up to standing, reach tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, inhale, reach up tall. Right hand takes left wrist over to the side for a stretch. Inhale, come through center, switch that grip, stretch it the other way. Inhale, center, look up, drop your head back, open your heart. Inhale, reach up tall and exhale forward fold. Halfway lift, find the stretch in your hips. And then hands press down and this time left foot steps all the way back. Again, maybe toss in some padding under that back knee and rise up when you're ready. Good, sinking into the hips. Get a little taller, let your neck get a little longer. Good, shoulders soft down your back. Let your jaw get a little wiggle. And then we pull the hips back for that half split. So right leg is straight out front, toes flexed up towards the sky. Right hip is drawing back in space just enough. So you feel that stretch down the back of the leg. Good, these look great. Two more breaths. And then re-bend your right leg. Bring your hands inside of that right foot. Here's your lizard lunge. See how much you can drop your hips forward and towards the front edge of your mat. And then look forward, almost like when we were doing cat cow, this is like cow pose. Reaching the chest forward, dropping the belly low and breathing. Okay, from here, tuck the back toes, lift up your knee, step back to your high plank, and then slide the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Three full breaths right here, or lower the knees for a child's pose. For my down dogs, make sure your fingers are spread out nice and wide. Yeah, perfect. And then smoosh down in that space between the thumb and the pointer finger a little bit to kind of fire up into your arms and shoulders. Good, walk or step feet to the hands at the top of the mat, forward folding. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Rise up, reaching up, look up, and exhale, hands to heart. Pausing for a moment, check in with yourself. Big breath, notice the body. If you feel like your mind may have wandered away, bring it back right here, in and out. Perfect. And then we're gonna shift all of your weight into your left foot and hug your right knee up to your chest. So you have an option, you can keep holding with your hands here for that little extra assist or take the hands to the sky. Three more breaths, standing tall, super strong. Good, now we're gonna take this right knee out to the side. You could guide it with your hands or keep the hands high. Keep working that opening across the front of the body. The inner thigh might be talking to you a little bit. We got this. Good, now we're gonna take our right hand down and grab a hold of the right foot and bring our knees together. So we get this great quad stretch. Looks good, keep standing tall. Try not to let the rib cage pop forward, pull it back over the hips. Almost done with this. One more breath. Let it go. Good, shake it out a little bit. We'll go see about all of that on the other side. Stand strong on your right foot. Either hug the left knee up or hold it there using that strength of the hips and the core. Breathe. Arms a bit straighter, fingers wide awake if they're up, shoulders down the back. 
And then open the left knee out to the side. Breathe with it. Trying to maintain good stacked posture everywhere else. Yeah, you guys look so good in here. Left hand will drop down to the left foot. Bring the knees together. Pull that heel in as close to your bottom as possible. So you get that really big quad stretch right in the front of your leg. Two more breaths. All right, let it go, shake it out. Standing back at the top of the mat, feet hips width apart, inhale, sweep your arms up. Right hand takes left wrist, pull it up and over, side bend. Inhale, come through center, switch the grip, bend the other way. Inhale, center, look up, open your heart, elbows wide, reach up tall, and forward fold right down the middle. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands go down, right foot steps all the way back. This time we're keeping the knee lifted. You of course have the option to lower it down if you like. Either way, rise up, arms to the sky. If that back knee is lifted, we're working that hip flexor on the right hip. Try to keep your rib cage stacked over the hips, crown of the head high, fingers wide awake. Breathing. We're gonna bring the hands down as we straighten the front leg. So we're folding over this straight left leg. Again, if the ground is feeling far away, put your hands on blocks. If you're at home, you don't have blocks like a water bottle or a pillow or anything. And breathe. Gently pull the left hip back, just one little hair. You'll get more stretch out of that leg. Good, one more breath here. And then we're gonna bring both hands inside of that left foot, lower the back knee down and come back into this lizard lunge shape. Good, except this time we'll play with it a little bit more. Keep the right hand on the ground, left hand spirals open to twist. Nice, can you bring your hips forward towards the front edge of your mat just a little bit more? Good. Now with this top hand, trace it back behind you, try to follow it with your gaze. And then option to bend that back knee and grab a hold of that back foot or try to grab a hold of that back foot. It's gonna depend a lot on your hips and your quads. Either way, give it a couple more breaths. You know, we gotta save something for tomorrow's class too, right? One more breath here. Good, release both hands down, tuck your back toes, lift your knee, step back to your plank, and then slide the hips back down, we're facing dog. Three huge breaths here. If you like, you can open the mouth on the exhale and sigh that out, letting out a little heat. And then looking forward, step or float your feet to your hands. Halfway lift at the top of the mat, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up, reach tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, we reach up. Right hand takes left wrist, side bend. Inhale through center, exhale, stretch the other way. Inhale, rise. Exhale, really squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Hands press down, left foot steps all the way back. Rise to your high lunge and settle into your strong legs. Good, this is a moment to kind of catch your breath, even though we're working really hard. <laughs> Fingers sparked wide awake up to the ceiling, you got it. Back legs super straight and strong. Pinkies to the front, thumbs to the back. So there's that little bit of rotation. Perfect. One more breath. And then exhale, forward fold, straighten that front leg. So we come into this nice big stretch Oops. over the right leg. Breathe.
Two more breaths here. See where you can soften. Maybe drop your head, shake your ponytail loose a bit. Bring both hands inside of that front foot, bending that front knee, lower the back knee down, lizard lunge once again. Good, pull the chest forward as the hips drop forward. Left hand stays down, right hand opens up into a twist. Trace your top hand back, follow it with your eyes. Let the twist follow all the way through your spine. And then option to lift that back foot, maybe grab a hold of it. Peeling open across the collarbones and the chest. Two more big breaths here. Okay, release, bring both hands back down. Tuck those back toes, lift your knees, step to plank. Downward facing dog. And then we're all gonna lower knees and put hips to heels, child's pose. I like a child's pose with the knees nice and wide so that you can really drop your chest down towards the ground. Reconnect to your breath here. Three more breaths, maybe rock the hips a little side to side, rock the forehead side to side. Very nice. From here, rise up to all fours, and then we'll walk the hands forward and mount the chest down towards the mat, puppy dog pose. You can bring your chin or your forehead to the ground. The chin is gonna be more of a stretch. And we're looking for the hips to be stacked right up above the knees, which is kind of hard to tell unless someone's helping you figure that out. Good. You could slide them back just a hair if you want more. There you go, yeah. Good. Try three more breaths here. Finding somewhere inside that could soften. Something that could just let go a little bit more. And then you'll slide your hips back towards your heels, child's pose. But this time, let's try it with knees close together. Just as a counterpoint, let's see the difference. Now you're kind of draping your torso over your legs. Hands could reach back towards the feet. Let the shoulders drape down. Everything soft and easy. Sometimes this version of child's pose can feel a little claustrophobic or like body parts are in the way. So know that you've always got a choice. You can take the child's pose that works for you. All right, from here, rise up. Come up onto your knees. And then if you like a little extra padding under those knees, double up your mat so you get three layers. We'll reach up to the sky, swim the hands backwards and place them at your low back. Fingers can be pointing up. That gives you that nice big stretch for wrists and forearms. But if that's making it scream and it doesn't feel nice, turn the fingers down. Either way, draw the elbows closer together, uh, shoulder blades squeeze together and you lift your sternum up. Good. Every inhale, get a little bit taller. Every exhale, get a little bit softer. Nice, one more breath here. Lift that heart high. Soften. <laughs> That's where we stop. Good, yeah. And then rise all the way up, swim your arms forward. Try to keep the arms straight so you really get a big range of motion in the shoulders and have a seat down onto your heels. We'll interlace the hands and then press the palms away. Again, getting a little stretch for the wrists. You can roll your head in one direction. 
and then roll it in the other. Good, and then we'll come back up. Two more rounds of that camel pose. So rising up, reach to the sky, swim yourself backwards. If back bending feels really nice for you today and you wanna take it farther, you could tuck your toes under, hands could reach down to the heels. Keep on pushing the hips forward. Try to add a little support by engaging core, like that belly button to spine feeling. You don't have to go farther though, right? Plenty is happening wherever you are. Try three more breaths here. Looking good. Use your next inhale, rise up. Again, straight arms swim forward and have a seat down on your heels. Nice, tall, neutral spine. Let's take the right hand up and over, drape it over your head and just let that give a gentle stretch into the neck as your right ear drops towards right shoulder. Release, bring the head through center. Other side, drape your arm across. A little bit of weight, not pulling, just gravity, stretching the side of your neck. All right, rise back up. Last round of your camel pose. Come on up, reaching for the sky, swim yourself backwards. If you liked dropping the hands to heels, you can also do that with the toes untucked. That'll just drop you in a little bit deeper. Think about getting up high before you go back. Elbows draw close together behind you so that you open the chest and the heart and all of that space. Good, let's give it three more of your best breaths yet today. Awesome, slow and steady, rise up, swim forward. And then this time we're gonna go all the way back down to child's pose so you can straighten out the mat. Take the variation that works best for you, knees wide or knees close. And then just breathe. Notice your mind, has it wandered away? Bring it back. Smooth out the breath, inhaling and exhaling. Get a little bit heavier and softer. All right, and with that softness, that peacefulness, rise back up into your downward facing dog. Take a huge breath in and a huge breath out. Walk your feet forward to your hands, folding in half at the top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up to standing and bring your hands to your heart. Good. Echoing what we've worked on already today. Shift the weight into the left foot. Hug the right knee up to your chest, stand tall. We'll open that out to the side, this time making it a tree pose. So your foot can press against your leg at the thigh or the calf or the ankle. We wanna just avoid the knee because I really want you to be pushing foot to leg, leg back into foot. Palms can come together at your heart. That'll help find center. Gaze or drishti is on something not moving in front of you and then arms can grow open. Breathe here. That same soft, smooth, peaceful breath. Good, from here, we're gonna make this a dancer pose. So reach your right hand down, grab the right foot. 
When you're ready, if you like, start to kick it open behind you. Good, strong belly button to spine will help balance through the center of your body. Smooth and steady breath. Find one more inhale, peak of that pose, and then let everything come back down. Shake it off a little bit. All right, if that side felt wobbly, the good news is usually this other side is more stable for people standing on the right foot. We'll see. Root down into your right leg. Hug the left knee up. When you're ready, open it out to the side. Make it that tree pose. Way up at the thigh or the calf or the ankle. Hands at the heart. Arms can open if you like. Breathe. Good. Don't be afraid to even soften your face so much that it smiles just a little bit. Transitioning this into your dancer pose. Reach your hand down, grab that foot. Start to lean forward as you kick back into your hand, breathing as you go. If you lift your gaze up, it'll help keep you from falling down. Last big breath here. And then let it all go. Really nice, really good everybody. Take a moment, stand tall at the top of the mat. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, forward fold, dive it right back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands go down, both feet step back, high push up. Holding this high push up, we're gonna take it to a side plank. Option to lower your right knee down or keep it lifted. We spin to the right hand, left hand reaches high to the sky. Maybe look up at that top hand. Good, maybe you float that top foot up in the air if you're looking for a little more fire. <laughs> Good. Come back through center, same pose, other side. So keep the left hand down, the right hand opens. That bottom knee can be down or both legs straight. Either way, think about lifting your hips up Fill the whole body with breath. Exhale that out. Good, one more breath. And then come back through center. Awesome work. Lower yourself all the way down to the ground. And then just take a little moment, flop. Make a pillow with your hands if you like. Turn your head one way, shimmy your hips a little bit side to side. And then turn your head the other way so that side of your neck gets a break. Good. We're going to open up these shoulders a little more. So tent your fingers outside the front edges of your mat. Elbows point up at the sky in this weird, awkward shape. On an inhale, lift head, neck, and shoulders right up the center. Exhale, lower yourself right back down. Do that again. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up to the center, and then drop your right shoulder and look over your left. Inhale, rise back up to center. Drop the left shoulder, look over the right. Inhale, center. Do that one more time each side, left, sorry, right shoulder. And left shoulder. Rising through center. Lower yourself all the way down the middle. Bring your hands next to your rib cage. Tuck your toes under so you can lift your knees off of the mat and then try to lift your thighs off of the mat and then try to lift your belly button off of the mat and then press straight up to high plank. Downward facing dog from there. Huge breath in. Exhale, open mouth. Inhale, fill it up. 
Exhale, empty out. Let's take your right leg high up into the sky and then bend your knee. Keeping the knee pointed up towards the sky, can you peek underneath your left armpit and see your foot over there in the air? Good, one more breath here. And then step the right foot forward, setting it up for a half pigeon. Your shin will lay down across the front edge of your mat. Hands walk back towards your hips so you find center. And then forward fold right down the middle. If this pose isn't working for you today, you can also take it on your back, crossing the right ankle over left knee and hugging that left thigh in. Very similar shape. You just get a lot more control over the intensity when you take it on your back. We've got about five more breaths here to just sink in. Are you feeling a lot of stretch? Are you feeling a lot of stretch? Okay. In general, you can keep working over this way towards center, but if this is enough for today, this is a perfect spot to stay. Okay, yeah, so flex that front foot and that'll help engage the knee joint, which should take a little bit of that away. Be nice to your knees. Good. Let's give ourselves one more full breath down to the base of the spine. Empty that out. And then walk your hands in, lift your chest. We're gonna sit off onto the right hip and swing the back leg around to the front. Cross knee over knee or something approaching this shape. And then try to make your hips equally connected down into the mat. Reach for the sky and forward fold over your legs. On your next breath, rise up. Unwind your legs, just enough so you can cross at the ankles so that you can roll over and then step back to downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths in down dog, wiggle, bend, shake, whatever you need. And then let's go explore the left side. Take that left leg high to the sky. Bend the knee, keep the knee trying to point high as the foot drops back towards your bottom. So really we're lifting and trying to find our left hip flexor, the front of the hip. Good, one more breath there. And then step your foot all the way to the top of the mat, half pigeon on the left side. The more you bring your foot forward and really make this a straight line across the front edge of the mat, the more stretch you'll find but just remember more is not always better. <laughs> Good, go ahead and forward fold when you're ready. Try to give your head something to rest on. So maybe it's like a stack of your fists or maybe it's a block or the ground. Using the breath to smooth out the nervous system here, nice even inhales and exhales again. Wiggle your jaw loose, soften the shoulders, release the toes and the feet. The next inhale, start to bring yourself back up, lifting your chest. Sit off to that left hip, swing the right leg around. Stack knee over knee-ish. Good, hips find the ground, reach up and fold over your legs.
Rising back up on an inhale. Untangle your legs. This time we're just gonna bring hands behind us and windshield wiper those knees side to side. Good, sitting up tall, reach your arms forward and then tuck your chin to your chest. Imagine you're trying to like roll in on yourself. Round your spine as round as you can get it and then lay yourself down, unrolling the whole length of the spine. Reach the hands up, take a big full body stretch and then hug your right knee into your chest. Take a moment here, kind of wiggle it around in your hip joint. And then open it out to the right one more time, kind of like that tree pose shape, feel the inner thigh a little bit. And then pick it up and guide it across all the way over your body into your twist. Open the arms, let the shoulders relax down to the ground and breathe. Come back through center, switching legs, hug the left, straighten the right. Rock it around in your hip for a moment. And then open your leg out to the left. Good, pick it up, guide it through center all the way across over to the right. Arms can extend wide, shoulders down to the ground. Inhale, come back through center. Hug both of your knees in. Curl everything into a nice little ball. Hug those legs. And then on an exhale, everything gets to release down to the ground for Shavasana. Give yourself permission to stay right here on your mat for just a few more minutes as you rest. Take three more big breaths. And then start to let some movement back in through wrists and ankles. Head can rock from side to side. Arms take a full stretch up and over your head and reach long through your toes. When you're ready, turn over onto one side. And just take this last moment of your practice and practice a little bit of kindness and gratitude for yourself. Tell yourself thank you for taking this time. And when you're ready, rise back up to seated. Eyes can close, hands rest by your heart. We'll close out our practice together today with three breaths. So we inhale. 
and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Bowing forward, we honor this practice of yoga for all it has to teach us, mind, body, spirit, on the mat and off. Thank you all so much for sharing your beautiful practice today. Thank you all at home. Good to see everybody. Man, those 45 minutes go fast. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or feedback. And I hope to see you all next week. Thanks so much, Jess. Hi, thank you everybody.